Yes, sir. Uh, this is the Barrington request that the commission looked at back in 2012, and they've gone through and started their development. If you drive through, you'll see some roads and some initial construction that's been done. And it just got to a point where one of the changes they were requesting, which was height, and it was height located um, on the lots north of Sarah Road, right there on the very northern piece of the development. They want to make those two stories. And so we asked the developer for that particular change to come back through the process um, for the public hearings as well as just to update the site plan and he agreed. So here we are and we're just requesting an updated site plan from um, the commission. Overall recommendation of approval from the staff. Uh, the planning commission did want to go a little bit further and put a condition about buffering on the northern edge of the property, but we believe it's ready for your consideration tomorrow and be ready for your hearing. Any questions, Mr. Davenport, on this case? Yes. Mr. Powell. From, from the original site plan that we approved and the proposed site plan currently being shown, it, it looks like there's some pretty substantial changes um, as far as what they're intending to build. Can, can you give us a little background on that, please? Yes, sir. Um, I would say probably the, and we put that in there just for reference, but the, I would say the biggest change you can see where they proposed, if you open up the originally approved site plan, and I'll try to pull up the site plan that they, so here's the originally approved site plan. If you look at the apartment units, there were 72 units to the east of what is now um, Barrington Road. And the developer came back and said, well, can I drop the number of apartments instead of 72? Can I do 50? Um, and then can we do some single family across the street? And staff at that time, because of the reduction in density, we, we said yes. We thought the overall units were decreasing, so we agreed to that change. Um, that probably is the biggest uh, change since that site plan. Uh, the developer has indicated that instead of the duplexes, he wanted to pull them apart and do um, single family rather than an attached product, do detached. But I would say that's the, that is the biggest change staff-wide that I think we've had in bringing it back to the commission is the east side of the road you can see from the approved to what's currently currently proposed. You can see those single family residences on the east side of the road. Um, I'll flash that up one more time. That's basically you're reducing the density levels out there. Yes, that he was approved for three story apartments at 72 units. When he came back and said, well, can I reduce it to two story and 50? And then can I put some single family across the street? We agreed that uh, he needed to put a buffer between the two. But okay. we thought that change was was less intense, so we let him go by with an administrative approval rather than bring it back to the board for public hearings on something like that. Okay, that's fine. I just want to clarify that. Yes, yes, sir. Thank you. Any other questions? Okay. Hearing none.